Welcome to IBM's Tennis Insights with myself, Cara Robinson, and seven-time Grand Slam champion, Mats Volander. Today, we're going to preview the quarter-final clash between Roger Federer and Gilles Simon. Roger Federer has reached his 45th Grand Slam quarter-final and his 13th at Wimbledon. Meanwhile, for Gilles Simon, it's a second-ever quarter-final appearance at a Grand Slam and his first-ever at Wimbledon. So the experience here on the grass in this stage of the competition, Mats, lies hugely with Roger. Yeah, definitely. I've seen Gilles Simon uh, push Roger Federer in Australian Open once, and I think that's the best match that Simon has ever played. Uh, Federer didn't play very well, so there is not that much Gilles Simon can do except hope that Federer is not playing as well as he has in the first four, four rounds. Okay, well, one of the key points we're going to look at is Federer's serving. He's been so dominant so far in this championship. He's totally unbroken in the first four rounds so far, and he's only faced two break points, both of which came in his match against Sam Querrey. So as we look at the statistics provided by IBM, we can see that Federer is 58 to love in service games one, only facing those two break points, while Gilles Simon is 61 and 8 in his service games. Well, Federer's average first serve speed is 118 miles per hour and 100 miles per hour for his second serve. There are people that are faster than that. So what mats does Federer do so well to hold his serve? Um, he makes sure that he wins the first two points in every service game and uh, how he does that, he plays very smart. He knows exactly his opponent's weakness. Uh, he tries to pull his opponent wide in the first in the deuce court and then he opens up uh, the backhand corner of uh, the ad court. Uh, and, uh, and if he does lose one of the points, then he plays an even smarter and higher percentage point at 15 all. So uh, he very rarely is down after the first three points in his own service games. Well, secondly, let's look at Federer's all-court domination. We often hear that Federer is such a complete player, and the stats at this year's championship really prove that. But IBM's data shows us that Simon is matching Federer's win percentage from the back of the court, with both players winning 55% of baseline points, but the number two seed is performing far better in other areas. They've both come to the net about the same number of times, 126 for Federer compared to 112 for Simon, but as we can see, Federer is winning 12% more of those points points and he's serving and volleying more too 38 attempts in rounds one to four with an 82 percent success rate considerably more than Gilles Simon so why is it that Federer Mats does better coming forward well he has the, the ability to to play from the baseline that's what he likes to do but then if that doesn't work then he can throw in the serve and volley point and then that comes as a surprise to his opponent uh, and he can attack and come into the net obviously he volleys much better than Gilles Simon but in general he bases his game on playing from the baseline with a few surprise attacks here and there. So what must Gilles Simon do? Well, the statistics would show that he likes to and probably should try and extend the rallies. Simon has played 150 rallies of nine shots or more to reach the quarterfinals, whilst Federer has only played 33. And their time on court shows that Gilles Simon has had nine hours, 43 minutes so far these championships, compared to Roger Federer's six hours and 16 minutes. So how successful, Mats, do you think Simon will be in trying to extend those rallies over Roger? Well, he's going to have to try, as you say. Uh, the problem is that Federer is not going to let him uh, until the score gets even, let's say, in a game or possibly in a set. And I think that's going to be the telling tale how well Roger Federer is playing and how relaxed he is, because once you get to four all uh, it's going to be big points and that's what he's going to face against the better players in the world so Gilles Simon can really show us how well Federer is playing and, and how good a chance he has to win the, the whole tournament and it really is the business end of the tournament now yes it's the quarterfinals here at the Wimbledon Championships and Roger Federer will take on Gilles Simon we'll be back tomorrow with more IBM Tennis Insights